you have an app, you need to advertise it online in order to keep it alive or to give it any life at all if it's new. If you want to learn how to run successful app install campaigns on Instagram, keep watching. Hi, I'm Morgan, a digital marketing professional at Life Marketing, and I'm excited to show you how to do app install campaigns on Instagram. I'll show you in-depth tutorials later, so stick around for those. But let's get started with the basics. First, what is an app install campaign? An app ad campaign is a campaign that, you guessed it, you run to promote your app. If you have an app at all, you should definitely be using these. You can use app ads to find new users. These would be app install campaigns. Re-engage existing users, like encouraging them to take a specific action. These are app engagement campaigns. You can also get users to sample your app and give it a try right in the ad so they know if they want to download it or not. In order to get the most out of your app ads, you'll want to make sure that you register your app. I'll go over the steps for how to do that briefly, but it is more advanced, so I'm not going to cover it in depth. If you have in-house, freelance, or agency help with your ads, I would let them do this part for you. Oh, and by the way, if you're looking for an ad agency to help you with strategy and execution, give Life Marketing a call and we'll be happy to help. So the first step of registering your app is going to the app dashboard and making sure that you've followed the steps there. Be sure to set the platform for your mobile app, like iOS or Android. You'll select your business manager by going to business settings, advanced business manager. You also need to provide your ad accounts. You'll do this by going to settings, advanced advertising accounts, and you need to check availability. You'll need to make sure that your app is publicly available in the correct platform. Then on the dashboard, when you click on app review, they'll ask you to make your app public and you'll say yes. This will lead you right into an ad setup and I'll go over ad setup later, so hold on for that. First, let's talk about what types of ads that you can run for your app. Each ad type will have different objectives available. I'll go over each and include instructions for setup and my best practices. I also include any things that you need to be aware of before you get started. So here are the types of ads that you can use to promote your app. Automated app ads, app install ads, and app engagement ads. Let's look up how to set up your ad in the ads manager before we get into any strategy and my tips. But before I do that, here's a quick message from one of our co-founders about our new online courses. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. So to set up your campaign, we're going to do this in the Facebook Ads Manager, since Facebook and Instagram are merging into one management platform. You'll go to your Ads Manager and choose the ad account that's associated with your app. You'll click the Create button in the top left and choose the App Installs Objective. Choose the App Ads option if you wish to create standard app ads. I'll show you how to set up the automated app ads next, so keep watching for that. Now you'll click Continue. Now there's a new option here for Create iOS 14 Campaign that you should select if you want to run ads to Apple users. Toggle that on if that applies to you. In the app section, choose the app that you want to promote. Note that if your app isn't linked to your ad account, your ad will optimize for link clicks rather than app installs, and it will be harder for you to track all those in-app activities. You won't be able to optimize for any app events until you've linked this to your account, so do this first thing. Now, I recommend you toggle on both the A-B testing options and the campaign budget optimization toggles. Toggle those on and then set your budget and click Next. If you want to use Dynamic Creative, which I recommend, you'll toggle that on here. Choose your budget, audience, and placements. In the optimization and delivery section, choose your optimization goal. Choose app installs to optimize for people most likely to download your app or app events to optimize for people who are most likely to take a specific action within your app. These would be things like making a purchase or playing for a specific amount of time. Click next. In the identity section, you'll select the Facebook page associated with your app and attach your Instagram account if applicable, which it is here since we're doing an Instagram app install campaign. In the ad setup section, select single image or video or you can do a carousel of these. In the ad creation section, choose the image or video that you would like to use for your ad. Add the headline, description, and other text to include in your ad, and include the call to action button that is most relevant to your desired action. Complete the rest of your ad by adding information in the languages and tracking section if this applies. When you're done, click publish to publish your app ad. Now you can also create an app ad that uses the traffic and conversions objectives. 
You'll enter your app ID in those sections and then continue with your ad setup. These objectives can't run automated app ads though, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Speaking of which, let's look at how to set up automated app ads. Now these are also called dynamic ads, so if you hear those referred to, they're pretty much the same thing. Some marketers might refer to these automated ads as dynamic ads and use those terms interchangeably. I'll be saying automated ads since that's what Facebook is specifying for this type. Now what's the point of automated app ads? These ads are all about achieving the highest performance with the least effort on your part. They use machine learning to create the best combination of creative to show to the right person in the right place at the right time. It's pretty much like having a marketer that works for you 24 hours a day. And who doesn't want that? Let's look at some of the benefits of using automated app ads. The first is automatic placements. These built-in options show your ad to people in as many places as possible on Instagram and if you choose it, Facebook and Facebook's audience network. Facebook will do all of the work to find where to show your ad for the best performance. The second reason is the ad creative optimization. Now you'll upload up to 50 unique images and videos, five primary text options and five headline options. And then Facebook finds the combinations that will work for the person that they're showing to at that time. This is great because you don't have to create 50 images and create all of those ads and look at them manually to see which ones are doing better. And you don't even have to create 50 images for this initial upload. You can upload up to 50 and I would max that out if you have something like a product catalog. If you have that, you can choose 50 images from that catalog and then you're doing no extra work. It's just pulling directly from products from your website. The third reason automated ads are great is that it simplifies campaign creation. There are fewer inputs for you and there's only one ad set and ad per campaign. That makes beginning advertising not so formidable if you don't know what you're doing. And it makes it a lot easier to see what's working and what isn't. Now the fourth reason is your audience options. You choose a combination of country, language, and a store to show your ads to. To help make sure that your ads don't compete against each other, you're limited to one campaign per country, language, and optimization goal for each of your promoted apps. The last thing you want to happen is for you to be competing against yourself driving up the cost of your own bid. So I like that Facebook puts this protection into place. Now you are limited with some of your targeting options that are available to you with other ad campaign types when you run ad ads. For example, you cannot target by age, gender, or other demographics. Let me show you how to set up an automated app ad in the ads manager. Now you'll follow the same steps that we did above for the app ads, all the way through choosing the app installs objective. Next, you'll choose automated app ads option and name your campaign, then click continue. Add your special ad category information if applicable, then click next. In the app section, choose the app you want to promote. In the locations and language section, Define the information for who you want to see your ads. Here are some important things to note. You can only run one campaign and ad set at a time for targeting combinations like with manual ads. Age targeting will default to 13 plus or your minimum store age and you cannot change this. The same 90 day exclusion window applies as with manual ads. And unlike manual app install ads, automated app ads appear on all placements with no ability to manually remove specific placements. Next, in the optimization control section, you'll define the goal for your ad and how you'd like to spend your budget. Automated app ads has four options for optimization goals. App installs, app installs with app events, app events, and value optimization. Choose your budget and schedule and click next. Now we're back in the identity section where you'll select your Facebook page and attach your Instagram account. In the ad creative section, you can add individual images or videos or choose to select media from a product set in your catalog. I recommend you upload the maximum number of images, videos, and descriptions for best performance. If you wanna see the possible variations of your ad, you can do that by clicking here. This is a nice way to just triple check and make sure that everything works together. After you're satisfied, you'll click publish to publish your ad. There's a little tool called the Facebook app ads helper that I'd like to introduce you to real quick. Before you can run ads, you need to make sure that your app has been properly registered in Facebook. To do this, you'll need to visit the Facebook app ads helper. You'll be able to check the status of your ads, check app events to ensure they're functioning, and see if you have any app installs. You can also verify that your app is registered with Facebook. If the app ads helper shows that your app is registered and available for use, you're ready to start running app ads. Let's talk a little bit about how to optimize your app ads. You'll want to use event optimization to set up your ads and find the ideal audience for your goal. You'll get more downloads this way and you'll find people more likely to take whatever your desired action is. The next best practice is to set up app events. According to Facebook, 
App events are the actions people take while using your app, and they can be used for ad targeting, optimization, and measurement solutions. In order to use app event optimization, make sure you've installed the Facebook SDK and app events on your app. Facebook also recommends that you set up app events so that you understand who's engaging with your app and in what ways. This helps you make sure that you deliver your ads to the right audience. Here are the standard app events that you have available to you. Optimizing for installs, link click optimization, app event optimization, and you can also use the API to set up an event of your choosing. You wanna choose the objective or the event that most closely aligns with your goals. Use app events for AEO to increase installs and in-app actions in one campaign. Facebook shared this example and I thought it was great, so I'm gonna share it directly from their help documents. For example, say you want to run a campaign to get people to download a new gaming app and you also want to make sure the people who download the app play the game. Using AEO, you could optimize your ads for an app event such as Achieve Level, so your ads would be shown to people who may be more likely to download your app and also achieve that level within the game. You could also optimize for in-app purchases using the Purchase App event. Facebook also recommends adding deep linking, so let's take a look at that now. You want to use deep linking so that you can send the user exactly to what they're interested in. This helps prevent people from dropping off while they're navigating between ad and the content that they want. It's a seamless transition and it makes for a much nicer user experience. Here's how to add a deep link. The instructions I'm going to go over are for your iOS ads. You can find instructions for your Android ads on Facebook for developers. Now I'm just going to tell you what the steps are for the sake of time, but you can find full instructions on Facebook for developers. I'll put the link on the screen so that you can read it in full and spend more time there later on. First, you'll add your deep link settings. The next step is optional, but this is where you'll add your deferred deep linking. The third step is to verify your deep linking setup, and the fourth is to actually add that link to your ad. Let's go over app ads best practices so that you can get started running really great app campaigns. In order to run the most effective ads for the best price, you need to follow best practices. Now, fortunately for us, Instagram wants you to be successful on the platform so that you keep advertising and keep spending money. So they've shared a bunch of great tips that actually work. Here's what they suggest for your setup and your targeting. Your target audience should include at least 100,000 people. You wanna use custom and lookalike audiences for better performance and less expensive ads. It's also a good idea to exclude folks who have already downloaded your app or taken the action that you're looking for. Another best practice is to use those automated app ads that I just walked you through. And be sure to use campaign budget optimization and A-B testing. Next best practice is to make sure your audience doesn't overlap so you're not bidding against yourself, driving up the cost of your own ads. That's the worst. Here's what they suggest when you're developing your creative, the actual ad that you're going to show people. Describe what your app does. Use visuals instead of text. Show images or video of your app on a device so users know what to expect. Quantify value when possible. For example, this app has over 100,000 easy recipes for families. Use a strong call to action button that tells users what you want them to do after they click, like download or play. Use the carousel format to show more looks, features, or games. And use dynamic ads or automated app ads featuring your catalog to provide personal ads to your users. Now that you know how to set everything up and you know best practices, I'm gonna brainstorm some ideas for you. I'm gonna run you through some app install campaigns that you should run if you're new to advertising. I follow this when I'm working with my clients and I found that it works really well majority of the time. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you run an app install campaign anytime you add a new feature to your app or add more content. You wanna target new audiences with all of your cool new tools and retarget existing audiences in case they haven't heard about the updates. The second campaign you want to run is retargeting users based on their activity. Send incentives to users who haven't used the app in a while. Another free trial, a bonus pack of tools or toys, extra content just for them, whatever. Retarget folks who haven't made a purchase in your app in a while with incentives like a small discount or coupon code to encourage your next purchase. The third ad campaign is going to be building a lookalike audience using your most engaged app users. Your most active users, or those who spend the most time on the app, are your most valuable users. You wanna find more people like them, right? Right. Use that engagement to build a custom audience and use that as a source for a lookalike audience. This is called a value-based lookalike audience because you're going off of something that's tangible, like purchases or time spent in the app. 
This is the third campaign I suggest because you'll need to build up with the first two if you haven't run any campaigns yet or you have a brand new app. However, if your app has been in existence, you may be able to just jump right to that one to get those lookalike audiences first and see how that goes. Question for you. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? We're putting out detailed small business marketing videos every week with the goal to help you improve your marketing. I don't want you to miss out on these, so make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we release new videos. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up to let me know and leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next. If you have any questions about your app install campaigns on Instagram, leave those in the comments as well. I'd love to hear how they go for you. I'll see you in an upcoming video. Happy marketing.